Yo, what's up guys? I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but I recently bought a new car and I decided I kind of wanted to try to revive the channel. This is my new to me 1998 Mustang GT. It's a five speed with the 4.6 liter two valve V8 motor. And as you can tell, it is currently in pieces. So I wanted to make a video just kind of explaining the car and what exactly I'm doing to it right now. There's going to be some footage of me actually working on it later on in the video. Currently, I'm just waiting on parts to show up. Ugh. All right, so first and foremost, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I know it's been a long time, but today I'm here to talk about my Mustang. And currently, the K member is dropped out of the car. Now, the reason why is because the header had an exhaust leak on the right side of the motor. I was doing some research, and a lot of people were saying that the easiest way to replace headers was just to drop the K member out, which is actually a pretty easy job in itself. There's just a lot of stuff to disconnect. So, I went ahead and ordered my headers. I ordered BBK 1 and 5 8 inch shorty headers. I was gonna go long tubes, but I decided that since I couldn't find an X pipe that would actually work with those, relatively easily that I would just get the shorties and stick with those because I was actually able to order a Bassani off-road X-pipe as well. The other exhaust piece that I got because the car didn't come with a catback exhaust, I got a Pipes Pipe Bomb catback exhaust which is basically a straight pipe so this car is going to be freaking loud and I'm really excited to hear it once I'm able to start everything back up with everything put back together. I'm currently still waiting on the headers to come in, which is why the car is sitting taken apart right now. Once they come in, I will be putting everything back together. You guys are going to see footage of that. Now, since I was going to drop the K member out to do the headers, I decided that I should also do a few other maintenance items, and that included the motor mounts and the steering rack and steering rack bushings. When I bought this car, it had quite a bit of slop in the steering wheel, and after checking everything over at my shop, I decided that it needed a steering rack. So I ordered one of those and I also ordered solid steering rack bushings to install that on. The other thing I ordered was solid motor mounts. Now this is intended to be sort of like a street car slash race car. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'm going to make another video talking about my plans with the car. I want this car to be as solid as possible because I'm honestly leaning towards making this like an autocross slash track day car, something that I can just take and have fun with. I'm looking at all sorts of different suspension components just to stiffen up the chassis, some chassis bracing, and of course coilovers and stuff like that, just to make this a good handling track car. So that's pretty much the current status of the car. I'm still waiting on parts to come in, but you guys are going to see some more footage in this video of me putting the car back together. It's a pretty fun car to drive. I was able to drive it around for about a week before I started taking it apart. I've only owned the thing for like two weeks now, and it's already in pieces in my garage. This is just how I do things in my life, so. And just like that, we have headers. I know you guys can barely see me, but let me turn around. Oh, there we go. I just got home from work, guys. Headers are here. I'm gonna go ahead and start installing them and I'm not going to do like a super in-depth, but I'm going to show you what bolts I'm using, where the bolts go and stuff like that, because installing these is a little bit different than the stock manifolds. So let's jump right into it and get under the car and let's get going. So the first thing that I actually need to do is block off the EGR because I actually deleted mine on this car. The previous owner installed a new throttle body and it deleted it had like EGR block off. So they also gave me this little plug the previous owner did. So I'm just going to put this on here with a little bit of silicone inside. Probably not the best way to do this, but I'm hoping that this will work. I'm just going to tighten it down and it should be okay to seal this off. So honestly, that probably would have been fine without the RTV, but I just thought that I would be safe. That might end up biting me in the ass. I don't know if that's going to do anything, but that's plugged off now, and now we need to get under the car and put this header in. All right, another thing before we get too deep into this, there is going to be some studs most likely that don't come out whenever you pull the stock manifolds off. I'm pretty sure you can reuse these, and the hardware will just thread right on. I'm going to make sure of that in just a second. I'm probably just going to leave them in 
and reuse them since these are pretty clean. If yours are really rusty, you probably want to pull them out and just use the ones that they give you. But on the driver's side, I'm pretty sure that you can use either bolts or studs. They will work either way. The passenger side is a little bit different. You have to use like a couple bolts and like multiple studs over there. So on this side is the, this is like the easy side. I'm gonna show you the installation on this side and then I'm gonna show you what bolts I used on the other side. Okay, correction, DBK sends you a bag of bolts. They're not studs. I thought they came with studs as well. They must have changed it recently. But anyway, first thing we need to do is take off the dipstick tube to get the gasket in there for the header. It is that eight millimeter bolt right there. So we're gonna pop that out. All right, and I'm just gonna try to feed this behind the dipstick. There we go, the gasket is in. I decided I'm only gonna use one of the studs to hold the gasket in, so I'm gonna pull the other two out. I think there's only two more on this side that got left in there, so. They are five millimeter on the end there. Makes it easy to remove them and install them if you need to. Before going any further, these bolts that BBK supplied are 10 millimeter bolts, and I'm going to be using blue thread locker on all of them so they don't vibrate loose. All right, y'all, it is early Sunday morning. I just got the passenger side header in. Um, I want to offer a couple of tips before I go any further. I think I'm actually going to end this video after this and then make another video putting the K-member back in. But I highly recommend just taking all of the studs out on the for the stock exhaust, so like the stock manifold studs. The passenger side you have to because of the way the pipes are on the header. The driver side I was able to get away with a few of them being still in there. But honestly, if you can get them all out, just do it. On the passenger side you have to, like I said. Uh, I even had to weld some nuts onto the studs to get them out because I tried to put two two nuts on there and back it out that way and it just wouldn't work. They were like too tight in there. So uh, kind of tough, kind of a pain. The header install was a pain in the butt, honestly. There's very limited access to the bolts that BBK provides. So you have to use like a box end wrench to like tighten most of them. So that's the most difficult part is getting them the bolts like tight and then making sure everything's in there. There's one bolt on each side that I wasn't able to get to. Uh, I don't know how you're supposed to do it, but I think it's gonna be fine if I just leave it. I made sure to get them all pretty tight. I put Loctite on them, so I don't think there should be any issues there. Couple of things that will be very helpful. If you have a long quarter inch extension, obviously quarter inch ratchet with a universal joint on it, this, you can actually get some of the bolts on, especially on the passenger side, if you kind of snake this in there and get it on the bolt. Another thing, a set of wrenches like this that have the ratcheting ends, this is very helpful for getting the bolts that you can't get this on, and you're able to ratchet instead of like pulling it off. There is a couple that you have to use this side because you can't get this in there, but this cobalt set is pretty thin, and it worked out pretty well. So couple of tools that are helpful but not needed. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit scattered. I'm still trying to get back in the swing of things of recording and just kind of getting my thoughts out into the video. So that was installing the headers. It was pretty easy. It just took a lot of time, very time consuming. So if you guys are excited for more Mustang content, make sure to drop a like down below. Also consider subscribing if you want to see more of my videos and leave a comment what you think of the new car in the background there. Stay tuned for the next video of me installing the K-member. I'm actually going to start recording that right now. Hopefully, I'll get this K-member back in today. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much for all your support, and I'll see you guys later.